Hello everyone, this is George and today we're asking how many charges can you fit in the front of a Tesla? Hello Lucian. Hi. Welcome back. Yeah. So this is uh, Lucian's car and he's an electric geek and he has all sorts of cables and chargers. Can you, can we see them? <laughs> yeah. So when you're traveling with an electric car, you're going to be able to use any kind of plug you find, yeah? Yes. So what kind of cables are you carrying? Let's start with low voltage. So first of all, if I have the auxiliary battery uh, completely discharged, I can charge it back with a discharger. Okay. That's the first one. Then I have the charger. Most people, don't, most people don't know that you also have an auxiliary. So when the main battery dies, eventually the auxiliary is going to die also. Yeah. So okay. in order to have the lights working or the music inside, everything is running on 12 volts. So that's the 12 volt battery. What's and next? What's next? Let's uh, have this one. You know this one. So this is the, the charger that uh, the, the vehicle came with. Yes. So uh, this is... Uh, the standard charger that uh, comes yeah. with the car, yeah? 11 kilowatts, three phase or... Yeah, three, four kilowatts uh, single phase. Okay. So this is the this second is the, one. That's standard, yes. That's standard. Then if I'm going to a charging station uh, type two, I need this cable. Of course, you're going to need that. Yeah. Most of the electric cars come with such a cable, some don't. You're going to need one of these because when you, if you want to charge faster, you're going to need type two. Yeah. Faster. Faster, let's <laughs> Faster. say, not the fastest. Then, if you don't have a charging station nearby, but okay. you have a normal plug, I have this cable and I can connect it to the Tesla charger, okay. mobile charger. Okay. So this is something like 25 Th meters. So this is the old faithful. How can you make a 25 meter long charging cable for an electric car? Because from what I know, they tend to heat up and cause trouble. Yeah, this is, this is not a normal cable. It's a pretty high quality cable. High quality, what, what's high, high quality? What do I need? So uh, the, the thickness of the, of the cables inside, it's important. So you need something very, uh, for example, this one has uh, 2.5 square millimeters inside. So going to the shop uh, and getting just a regular uh, cable is not enough? Usually those are uh, one point something square millimeters. So that's, that's going to heat up pretty fast. So okay. you, you can't charge probably more than uh, 1.5 kilowatt with, that, uh, with a cable. I once tried that and I almost uh, blew up the, uh, the electric panel. Yeah. Then. Okay. Then this is the last one. So this is the adapter for a CHAdeMO plug to the normal uh, Type 2 connector. And this is mostly used by Tesla Model S users because yeah. uh, the Model S comes on Type 2. Yes. And that's it for Europe, uh, actually. But the, the Model 3 and the Model Y uh, come with the CCS. And I also have CCS. If you say <laughs> CCS, I also have CCS. Just a second. When we hear CCS, we become happy because CCS is the fastest uh, plug that you can use to charge your car as fast <sighs> as possible. So some people... So I still oh, have CCS. Oh, yes. Tell me about this. That was not default. I need to... I was forced to add a module inside the vehicle to understand, let's say, the language between CCS and, uh, and uh, the vehicle can uh, communicate with the CCS uh, charging station. So if a Model S user is seeing this Type 2 to CCS adapter, they, will they be able to use it on a Model S, on a regular Not directly. Model S? Not directly. Not directly. You need to add a, uh, another adapter inside. We will, uh, I'm going to show it to you later. Okay. But you can also use basically CCS on a Model S, yeah. but it's not easy. No. But CCS on a Model 3 or a Model Y can um, uh, help you reach charging speeds up to 250 kilowatt. It's going to be just for a short while, but it's technically possible because of the standard of the cable. Yeah. And that's it. Nothing else? Do you want more? Yeah. <laughs> what it, else? It, what, what about this? So what's the ah. difference between this one and all the other plugs. Let's have a look. So this adapter has two modes. So okay. you can use it in three phase. Okay. Or you can use it with single phase and normal uh, uh, normal plug like this. And then you can, con can connect it to a normal plug and use it uh, in a normal socket. So this is how you charge your Tesla Model S with all the cables you can find. Yeah. When, when you travel a lot, you kind of need those. Yeah, and this is what I'm doing. So when I'm traveling, I have uh, seven countries to, to travel a few times per year. 
not all the time all the charging stations are, are working, so you need to find solution to, to continue traveling. Do you still have range anxiety with all those cables inside? Ah, it was a, no, it was at the beginning. So this uh, this thing, range anxiety, I think after a while uh, disappeared because you you know your car, you understand how long you can uh, you can use it, how many miles or kilometers you can uh, you can drive with it. So okay, that's that's gone. And last question. Yeah. Are you the kind of Tesla user that shows uh, range in kilometers or percentage? No percentage. Percentage. So I'm, uh, yeah, I don't like kilometers because uh, sometimes I'm driving faster. So that's, oh, yes. that's wrong. Most of the time is wrong. Hope that's useful for you. If you want to learn more about electric cars, please follow our channel. Hit the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos. Thank you, Lucian. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. The pandemic way today. <laughs> and this is the number of cables that you can fit in the front of a Tesla Model S.